Yo, what's going on? Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching, back with my Mars series. Ah. <laughs> I've been getting requests. So I was gonna do Mars and Scorpio. I'm skipping at, I'm doing Mars and Virgo. That's what this is, my placement. And I got requests for Taurus and Pisces. So I'm gonna do Pisces and Taurus after this. I'll flip a coin and see which one is next, but those have been the requests I'm getting. Thank you so much for watching my Mars series and all my series. Please subscribe and ring the bell. Mars and Virgo. Well, we know Mars is at home, right? Aries Scorpio falls in what? Libra Taurus, exalted in Capricorn. Well, in Virgo, it's in Earth. Um, it likes the fire signs better, but in, in Capricorn, but also in, in Earth, it's a little, it calms it down a little bit. So we know Mars, right? Our assertive, aggressive energy, our impulsiveness, our willpower, our sex drive, our how we initiate and just go get it every day, right? And what's Virgo? Ruler of the sixth house, mutable earth, right? Work, health, hygiene, daily routine, service, logical, critical, analytical mind, assessing, assessing, assessing. Mars and Virgo, and Virgo's ruled by Mercury. So these people, oh my God, they're like these robotic computers, right? Analytical, logical, critical, self-critical, great detectives, right? I research something, I study it, and da da da, -da I dissect it, da da da, -da. Man, oh, and pff, let's get into the famous people besides Eric Taylor, you complete, right? Um, and they're good lyricists, love to battle rhyme, okay? But we got... Barack Obama, Johnny Depp, Will Smith, Willow Smith, Zoe Saldana. Um, uh, oh my gosh. I said Barack, Johnny, um, oh, the women. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. There is, there's a lot. Oh, Sarah Jessica Parker. I worked on the film If Lucy Fell With Her and Sex in the City. Great lady, very sweet, very kind, very funny. I like Sarah a lot. Um, who else has this? Will and, and, and Willow, um, a couple other people, but definitely some good energy. And one thing, when you look at Obama and, and Johnny Depp, Will Smith, um, Sarah Jessica, these people in general, you can see there is this precision there. So... Let's be honest, Mars and Virgo, Virgos can have some fear and anxiety. They can have your nervous system issues, digestive issues. Um, and you know, Mars is how we gonna go get it, right? Well, Virgos, they wanna be perfect. And sometimes they are so self-critical that they could just rip themselves apart because if it's not done right, or if they can't do it the way they wanna do it, then sometimes they, they just won't, you know, they'll kind of pause, right? They can be afraid to make a mistake. Now, they're willing to get their hands dirty and try anything, but Mars and Virgo, it's, um, put it like this, you want to talk some smack to them, then they're ready. Because like, they're like the lawyer, the aggressive accountant, right, who works for the mob, they're the detective to check out the crime scene, like Dexter, right? Even though they committed the murder. <laughs> now, Mars and Virgo wouldn't do that, though. Um, they're going to be definitely great for service, right? So they could be a lawyer, a doctor, some sort of medical, <clears throat> like they can be a good pharmacist, but some sort of healer, right? They're not necessarily going to be a surgeon. Um, you know, you could look at the first, eighth house, maybe the tenth, you'll see certain things. But they can overly... Because Mars is like this impulsive, assertive, aggressive energy. They can overly criticize, overly analyze, right? To like, they'll assess, be like, uh, all right, this isn't done. That's not done, right? I know sometimes I could be like that as a father with my kids. I'll go look at their room. That's not clean. That's not clean. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. You know what I mean? But they are good at analyzing and assessing things to death. 
<laughs> I wear myself out. But it's a problem. I can remember with a play that I wrote. I wanted it to be perfect. And I finally had to just be like, okay, let it go and release it. And when I did, I set attendance records at the uh, Theater Studio Inc. in Times Square for the new playwriting series. The theater sat uh, like 65 seats. Both, night, both nights I set attendance records, attendance records for my play. 73, 74 people. Okay? So once they kind of let it go, they got to learn to let it go, right? That's what good about Pisces. But Virgo, sometimes they're like analyzing and analyzing. Oh, I got to make it better. I got to make it better. Well, sometimes you just got to like chill out, Mars and Virgo. Okay? Um, good sense of humors, you know? Um, they can definitely enjoy verbally jousting. I find that um, there is this, they're determined to make everything they come across better. And that can be exhausting. They, they got to learn, you know, but they're so, they're so needed because no one knows how to, I always say like if you, you have to have a Virgo something in your life as like your personal assistant or best friend. Right? You want to know the truth. Now, no one's going to tell you the truth like a blunt Sagittarius or a Capricorn or a Virgo. Okay? They're just straight shooters. Pisces is good, too. But they're a little bit more, you know, compassionate with it. But Sag, Cap, and Virgos, they're just like, oh, it's like this, like that. But what's good about the Virgo, they'll really take the time to give you critical advice if you want to listen and learn to self-improve. You know? So that's why they can be really good lawyers. They can be um, great accountants, mathematicians, some sort of pharmacist or medical doctor, good actors, you know. Um, they're going to be a very, this would be a good position for like a, a quarterback or a point guard because they're going to be so precise and practice. They're going to make sure that let's get this right. Let's do it over and over again. Repetition. Like I tell my kids, right? And I used to teach my acting too, but I tell my sons, repetition is the key to ownership. That's Mars and Virgo, right? You see with Barack Obama, his speech, one of, they're great orators. They're great public speakers, all right? And you guys must think I'm pretty good, you know, with my speaking and my presentation and how I get down for the crown, astrology, one of the best around giving you information that I hope you like and enjoy and it's sound from the sky to the ground. I'm on Mars is the earth. So they're not as impulsive, right? Because they're more introspective. They can be assertive, but they still, how could I explain it? They still want to make sure they're sure. They'll be assertive, but it's after they've kind of studied and did the research that they know what they're talking about, right? And um, good writers. Um, and they just like to break things down. I could break it down like however you want. So like always, I'll say, hit me up, tailor 2 coaching at gmail.com. You know, um, get the whole birth chart done. You got to get the whole chart done. You need to know everything, Okay. Ah, my ear, it's itching. But um, the ear's itching because I know I'm talking about myself. I'm on the top shelf, tapping the toes, giving you elevated flows. Bad bro, you know, they don't like to lie. It's a big deal. We don't like liars, okay? Um, and just overall, I think you're going to find someone that is respectful, responsible, right? A lot of Mars signs can curse. Now, see, they're not going to necessarily be cursors like the Mars and Aries, right? Or so super assertive, aggressive. But they're the type that, like, don't question if they know something. Like, if you question them and come at them, they're going to verbally tear you down. Mars and Virgo is like, um, no, that's not how you do it. It goes down like this, okay? Mars and Virgo is going to be like, 
Uh, no, the Steelers won the Super Bowl in 77 and 78. You know what I mean? Those seasons, the Super Bowl was 78, 79. They're going to be like, you know, I know my stats. I know my, I know my stuff, you know? <laughs> um, there's definitely, and they've got a lot of this mental energy, so they got to release it. They've got to exercise. They've got to, got to have sex, <laughs> you know? Um, They'll be smooth and pursuing. They're not going to be overly aggressive, but they know that they know how to charm. Mars and Virgo can be definitely very charming because it's a it's 88 days Mercury, right? Brrr. So they're very precise and they know before they even like meet, as soon as they meet a woman or a man, they're assessing them and then they know how to present the right words to get what they want. Okay, I know when I was a single man, I was always just like, yeah, okay, I see this, I see that, that, that. Hey, how you doing? Hey, yeah, yeah, well, you know. And then they know how to be funny, right? And they just they present well. They definitely know how to present well. That's 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 not a difficult task for Mars and Virgo. Um, it's self doubt. That's the downfall. Because Mars is so assertive and outgoing and impulsive, right? And Aries and Scorpio, it's more emotional and sensitive in Scorpio. But in Virgo, in this logical Earth, because Virgo, it's an Earth sign, but because it's Mercury, it's got a little air sign tendencies, you know? And when you bring Mars here, this action planet, <laughs> it's action with thought. It's not just pure action. So they're not really impulsive. And it's not going to be passive aggressive like a Libra, but it can be over analysis, which leads to paralysis. You know, I'm guilty of that. Right? Trying to be perfect. Sometimes you just got to let it go. I think you got to let it go. It's just another TKO. <laughs> I wish I could remember all the other famous people. There's some more, but um, listen. Forget Sarah Jessica Parker, Willow Smith, Zoe Zaldano, and you you get uh, you know Barack and, and Johnny Depp and you know and Eric Taylor. You complete. What else do you need? And Will Smith. What else do you need? All right, we got you. So please subscribe down below, ring the bell. I think I'm doing uh, Pisces and Taurus and Scorpio. Those will be the next three. I'll get the Sag. I'm saving Capricorn for last. And Mars, I'm just doing it out of order. I know people are like, oh, where's Mars and Taurus? And I'm sorry. I said in the first video, I'm not doing it in order. You know, it gets boring when you just do stuff in order sometimes. Okay. I'm Mars and Virgo. You know, I have my, my reasons for doing things in different ways and wanting to end in the exaltation, starting with the home. Okay. But um, please hit your boy up. You need a full birth chart done. I got a sale to Halloween for only $125. October 31st, midnight West Coast 2020. Okay. And then... Um, you know, I got a bunch of other services. So check it out, tailoredtoyoucoaching.com or just email me directly, tailoredtoyoucoaching at gmail.com. We'll get it done. Drop the bombs. Third arm with the charm. Oh, and Virgo, uh, Mars and Virgo is definitely charming. Look at Will Smith, Barack Obama. Charm the pants off of you. You never met me, but I'm very charming. Maybe you see it through the videos. Is it charming on this side? Or my charming on this side. <laughs> I kid. You know, I, I definitely kid. You gotta have fun, man. And that's what astrology is about. But this is not a joke. You need to gain this knowledge, astrology and numerology. When I break down your chart, you get the full 12 house report, 40 to 50 minute custom video. You're not getting all this from other astrologers. And I use some principles of the Vedic. I use the whole science system. You know, I look at the Placidus, but I use the whole science system and I, I'm learning some certain things of the Vedic. You know, I look at mar modern and traditional house rulerships. I break it down for you, man. All right. 
I got you. It's a little chilly out here in Arizona. Hope you guys are being safe. Hope you guys vote. And um, yeah, that full moon, I might do a little transit video on this blue full moon coming up on Halloween Saturday, right before the election. Just chill, chill out, keep your butt at home and be safe, all right? So follow me at Taylor2C on Twitter at Big3Astrology, Instagram and Facebook, Taylor2Coaching, Mars and Virgo, Virgin. <laughs> Let me tell you the real secret, Mars and Virgos are freaks. Okay, that's the, their willpower, their sex drive, and the women, they'll be a, attracted to an intelligent, intelligent man. So if you're a woman with this placement, you will be stimulated and attracted to a man's intelligence. You want him to be outgoing and adventurous and fun, but he's got to bring the brain. And that's going to get the Mars and Virgo woman. And the Mars and Virgo man, he can make up any reason to attack attack or be into a lady <laughs> even if you're not that intelligent he'll say something intelligent to you and bring the intelligence out of you and be like yeah that worked <laughs> but they just got to release that energy all right stop stressing and just start progressing and undressing <laughs> i'm confessing so anyway mars and virgo you are done you're number one you're not the best but you're number one in my heart all right, Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching, you mutable earth sign and Mars and Mercury and all that good stuff. Oh, and Mars, it's it's like every two years, but every two and a half years of her retrogrades in each sign, okay? I, I misspoke on my first video about that. Sorry, I sometimes you get a brain fart, see? That happens to all of us. So, enjoy and thank you. El Presidente, Barack. Boy, we miss you. All right, Mars and Virgo, I'm out. Peace. Later. Taylor to you, coaching. Hit your boy up. All right? I got you. Later. <laughs>